what's up y'all so today is monday and as y'all can tell by the way i look i am working from home i started this vlog kind of late because i knew i wanted to record but i just never knew when i wanted to film this nine to five week in my life so i just started randomly at 11 42 a.m I just got out of a meeting at 10. It started at 10.30, ended around maybe 11.15. Right now I'm making breakfast. I went to the gym this morning at 8.30. My nine to five doesn't start until 9.30, so. So I made it home on time to start my um, work day. Like I said, I'm making breakfast. I just burnt my sausages and I'm using this tray because all my plates are where in the dishwasher i had some friends over this weekend we were basically celebrating a birthday we went to stats this is my first time going to stats for their brunch this is my first time going period so we went yesterday for brunch and here's some footage if you guys are curious i'm gonna put this right here because it wasn't a lot of footage but we're gonna use this footage so enjoy hey guys we're going to brunch with reyna and her fiance because it's his birthday eat some good food have a good time vibe out have some drinks and i wanted to bring you guys along for the ride we're in walmart <clears throat> so like i said today is monday here's my breakfast my eggs look a little black because I cooked them directly after the sausages and I did not clean the frying pan because I do not care. I got some eggs, some sausage, and one piece of toast because for lunch I'm going to be eating a turkey burger and that's already a lot of bread for me. I was debating on if I wanted to do cream cheese or butter. I'm going to do butter on my toast. This is the Country Crock plant butter that I got from, I think this is from Walmart. But y'all know, I'm an Aldi girl. But anyway today okay so today's the sixth i turned in a graphic this morning i'm not sure if there will be revisions or not still waiting to hear back from the stakeholders that sent it up to me and i have a graphic due tomorrow but obviously i want to turn it in today because of revisions the only reason why i turned in a graphic that was due today today is because i was waiting on that one last person that they wanted to add to the carousel if that makes sense so i was assigned that uh graphic ticket sometime last thursday but they only had four players that they wanted to put on the carousel i was waiting on that last fifth one they gave me the name this morning so i turned it in this morning when it comes to due dates in the graphic design world i do not like to turn in my work the day of mainly because if there are revisions, I don't want to feel rushed when it comes to turning or returning in the graphic. So like I said, I have a graphic due tomorrow. I think I have two due tomorrow. I got those tickets Friday afternoon. Usually within my company, we're supposed to have an allotted week to two weeks to figure out a graphic. But obviously I'm in the sporting industry and things pop up random things pop up and I have to be able to move fast. So that's why one of the graphics that I have is due tomorrow. I hope I'm making sense. If I'm not making sense, let me know in the comments down below and I can clarify in the next video what I mean. So I'm about to eat my breakfast because I'm starving. And once I'm done eating breakfast, I'm gonna do some research to see where my head is at when it comes to design like where i'm gonna pull inspo from whether it be from off of pinterest behance or maybe even some of my previous work that i've done in the past it just depends i need to go back and look at the ticket to see what they're asking for and then we will go from there welcome to my channel if you're new here i didn't do a proper intro my name is mariah i'm 24. i stuttered because my birthday is on the 18th i almost said i was 25 so i'm 24 obviously i'm a pisces i graduated last may of 2022 with my bachelor's in visual communications and i've been wanting to do this nine to five week in my life for a long time we're finally here now that we're settled in an apartment by the way if you guys haven't seen my apartment series make sure you guys go check that out and yeah let's go ahead and continue this video hope you guys gave me a thumbs up by now if you haven't go ahead and do that 
and say hey in the comments down below so i can respond all right y'all i'm back and i'm on my laptop again working from my bedroom i'm in the bed because my legs are killing me from the gym today we did upper body but right now i'm working on a pal gazelle ftr image slash graphic design ftr basically means it's the cover photo that'll be posted on the website for the article so right now i'm working on the pal gazelle jersey retirement graphic pal gazelle retired in october of 2021 and they're basically hanging his jersey up so the ticket reads looking for an ftr for a pal gazelle jersey retirement story we're thinking we're thinking along the lines of Powell looking up at his Lakers jersey, joining the other Lakers jerseys already retired at the Staples Center. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks. And that's from whoever sent it. Blah, blah, blah. So right now I'm working on the cutout of Powell Gazal. Most of our images that we use are from Getty Images. And this is very rough like very 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 rough of what I have so far um so I'm thinking of putting the cutout that I'm working on right now right here being that his eyes are going towards the jersey so basically following the lines of his eyes so the viewer will know when they look at him when I place him right here they'll see that his eyes are looking at his jersey obviously it's not going to be scaled correctly, but the point will be made clearly. Um, I know the ticket said joining the other jerseys in the Staples Center. But I kind of want to play off of the idea of putting significance on him rather than having a whole bunch of jerseys on this FTR, if that makes sense. So I'm going to play with the idea a little bit. It's due tomorrow. I'm going to do my best to turn it in today. Obviously I can't show you guys the final look of it because I need to make sure that it does get approved. So if it is approved before the end of the day, I'll show you guys. But if not, um, I'll definitely show you guys the final look of it before the end of the week. So yeah, I'm just playing with the pen tool. Not playing with the pen tool. I'm using the pen tool in Photoshop to cut him out of his to cut him out of the background. There's other ways of doing it, but I prefer using the pen tool. Some people like to use the quick selection tool because it's faster, but I feel like using the pen tool, um, the lines are cleaner, everything looks neater, and it just looks nicer. If there's ever a time where I do need to use the quick selection tool, which I probably will use for his second image that I'm gonna put in the background, I'll use the quick selection tool because I know that it doesn't have to be perfect. Another example of when I'll use the um, quick selection tool for cutouts is if I'm gonna be lowering the opacity of a subject, which is exactly what I'll be doing. Obviously, this does not have to be perfect with the pen tool. Um, but yeah, I just hit undo. I'm trying to see if I want his eyelash right there and there. So yeah, I'm just doing some cutouts. And yeah, around the hair won't have to be perfect. I'll use the refined edge brush tool to make it look neater. I'll show you guys in a second, but yeah. I should be able to show you guys towards the end of the week. But if you guys are interested in a design with me where I share my laptop screen and then I put myself in the corner and we design together, let me know because I've been wanting to do that. Obviously, I can't do a design with me for certain work purposes. Um, one, because I can't show you guys the final product until it's updated all the way. And I think that's it. I think that's the only reason. Like, if I was to film a design with me, I want to show you guys the whole process of what I'm doing. I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me for five minutes use the pen tool in Photoshop. Like, you know... So let me know in the comments if that's something you guys would be interested in where we could do some designs together. And I'm still pretty full from lunch or brunch. So I'm not sure when I'll be eating again, but I will pick up my camera when I do. I'm still working on this Pau Gasol graphic, but my 255 notice alarm went off because I have a three o'clock creative meeting. 
And I like to put alarms because sometimes I could just be so deep into work that I forget that we even have meetings. So I have all these alarm clocks set for when I might have a meeting of some sort. So I always do five minutes in advance to let me know, okay, Mariah, you have a meeting. Saw what you're doing. This is time to go use the bathroom, get some water. So that's what I'm about to do. It's 2.58 p.m. Our creative meetings, each person has a chance to talk. So the social media producers, the video editors, the two graphic designers, I'm one of two. Um, the assistant managing editor. Everyone just goes around. This is our Monday meeting. So everyone just goes around saying what they're working on today what they have for the rest of the week and whatever have you. Let me go ahead and pull this up, my Google Calendar. We do most of our meetings in Google Calendar. So I don't be on Zoom as much as I used to be. And I've never been on Microsoft Teams either. And there we are. I'm debating on if I wanna keep my camera on. If I keep my camera on, then I would have to go to my desk over there. So this is what I have so far. Again, this is very rough. I don't even have an idea of what I'm doing, but I know I want to put him in the background somewhere and just make this look nicer, not just a whole bunch of copy and paste. I have to color correct the players. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all know what's going on. All right, let me go ahead and hop on this meeting. No one else is here. But I'll be the first to show my face. Okay. Speaking of which, what was the, uh, so what happened? I saw something about photos that were kind of hidden for a while. What was the story with, uh, with Twitter this morning? And that's all I have on my plate right now. And if anything pops up, <clears> I'm <throat> able to take it as well. I can give you the link well, to that uh, Photoshop file, Mariah, too. Y'all, I'm so thirsty. I feel like I'm going to die. I was going to say I'm hot. But that's my fault because I have this sweatshirt on. But the dishwasher just stopped. I'm about to put the dishes up, get me something to drink, and try to finish this graphic so I can turn it into day. I feel like I'm almost done with it. Hopefully, they like the idea I went for. Just a lot of talking in that meeting, and I'm parched. I really need to go grocery shopping, but I really don't know if that's gonna happen today. So we will see. Today's kind of slow, which I am valuing and cherishing. It's 3.52. I didn't take a lunch because I had a late brunch. I'm not hungry yet, but I feel like I should go ahead and eat now because why, why? Because I don't want to eat too late. Like I don't want my lunch to mix with my dinner, but I'm trying to teach myself that if I'm not hungry, then what, what am I eating for? And right now I'm not hungry, but also I wanna make sure that I get all three to four meals slash snacks in before nighttime. And I'm not eating everything at night when I'm starving. Going to sleep with all that food on my stomach cause obviously I'm trying to lose weight. Y'all know what's going on. My foot hurts because yesterday when we went, <laughs> uh, what did we do? We went riding on scooters yesterday after we went to brunch and Raina crashed into the back of my scooter. I fell and something hit my foot very hard. I don't know what it was because in the moment the adrenaline kicked in, I'm in pain. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so this is why I'm back. Still didn't eat anything, but it's only been like 10 minutes since whatever, it doesn't matter. I got some revisions, so I sent it to my creative director, but he was taking too long to respond. So I sent it to the stakeholder that requested the ticket to get his opinion directly. And he told me that he does not love it, which is perfectly fine. Um, so we're gonna take a different route. And right now it's four o'clock. I get up at five, 5.30, so he will not be getting this graphic today. That's something that I will be working on tomorrow. And I don't think I'm working from home tomorrow and I'm not going in the office either. I think I wanna try this spot. I'm not sure, we'll see tomorrow how I feel, but sorry the camera's shaking. But now I have time to allow my brain to start turning gears again, getting juices flowing, brainstorming, 
on how I'm gonna do this new design style that they requested and look up some more inspo. So basically, that's basically the world of designing. You design something, send it up for revisions, get revisions. If it's approved, woohoo, we move on to the next thing. And if it's not approved, we do the revisions. Sometimes you may have to start back at square one. Other times you can just add on to what you have already or take away from what you have already. But it's looking like I need to start from square one. So send me some reference photos that probably should have been in the ticket. Um, so when people do request tickets, there is a part where it says reference links. So if they have an idea of what they want it to look like, they can put that on there so it can limit the heavy load on the designer from thinking from scratch. The little sentence that I showed earlier is just an idea, but reference photos do help designers out a lot. So we can actually get into your brain to get exactly what you want for your graphic. I'm not mad about it. That was the whole point of me doing it early so I can get revisions early so I can get back on track. And I'm just gonna move on from there. That was my day today. Some meetings. I went to the gym this morning, ate breakfast. I'm about to eat brunch. Um, that was around 11.30. Eating is so hard for me, y'all. Ever since I started my fitness journey, like my appetite is so messed up during the week. But on the weekends, I be cool because on the weekends, I eat whatever. But during the week, I be struggling. And I don't know what it is. I guess it's because I don't want to eat healthy and my body is like I'm not hungry when really I should be eating so I can stay energized. Since y'all are here, I guess we can cook this turkey burger together. Getting my single frying pan. This is the only frying pan that I have. Ever since I moved in, I've only had one frying pan. And it gets annoying because sometimes this frying pan is dirty and I don't want to wash it in order to use it. I'm thinking about getting a new frying pan. While my turkey burger is cooking, my camera looks like it's about to die. I was supposed to go to Dollar General or Dollar Tree sometime today because I need some cleaning essentials like more Cascade pods, dishwashing detergent. Adulting is real. If you ain't ready, then you ain't ready. Do not rush, y'all. Stay at your mama house. But if you're ready, I say do it. It's definitely experience that should be had. It's time to eat. I'm done putting up the dishes. I got my little burger here. Literally, I literally only made a burger just because I told y'all I'm not hungry. I'm actually forcing myself to eat right now because I haven't ate since 11.30 something. And actually, this is actually my third meal of the day because this morning around 7, I went to... Around 7 a.m. this morning, I actually had some oatmeal before I went to the gym because in the mornings, I'm literally starving in the mornings. Like my stomach is always touching my back when I wake up in the morning. About to turn some TV on and eat this burger while I'll think, while I think about what I'm going to do next to that graphic. My hair is a mess. Y'all, it's 9.36 and I just revised the graphic. I got it turned in and they approved it. I'll show you guys tomorrow. Now I'm about to, I hope y'all can't see that glare on my camera. I'm about to re-braid my hair because this is this braid out is from Thursday. And since I'm going, going out the house tomorrow, I want my hair to look like something so I'm gonna go ahead and braid it. So in the morning after the gym and after my shower, I just gotta undo my braids and do something to my eyebrows. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm just glad that I got that graphic out the way so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow on its due date.
Of course. I have to clean that up. Good morning, y'all. As y'all can see, it's the next morning. I'm eating breakfast before I go to the gym. And as I'm eating this breakfast, I'm getting aggravated because I'm tired of eating oatmeal. And that's one of my quick breakfasts when I'm starving and I just need something quick to eat for today. So that's what I'm eating, some oatmeal. Yes, I have on the same shirt as yesterday because it's what I wore after my shower after I got back from the gym. So it is what it is. Honey mustard on my shirt from dinner last night, but... I won't be here for long. I just wanted to say good morning to you guys before I get up and start moving. I don't think I can finish this. I'm just not in here for oatmeal. I need to get some bananas and some small little cuties for the mornings because I need another quick breakfast. All right, y'all. So I'm dressed and ready for the gym. Y'all can see that I put my braids into a little bun. And then after I come back home and do my morning routine, we'll take out the braids and head out to our destination. Need my shaker bottle. This is the pre-workout that I am using for this month. You can kind of see how far down I am. At first I didn't like the taste, but I didn't care to take it back to the vitamin shop to get a new one. So it's whatever at this point. I do like this brand. It doesn't do too much with the jitters and it gets me through the workout. Uh-oh. I'm just making a mess these days. I like to drink my pre-workout 20 minutes before I get to the gym. So I'm going to get to the gym around 8.30 a.m. And by then it should be kicked in because I'm about to take it now at 8.10. So I just left the gym. We did body conditioning, body weight conditioning. Let me go home and wash my behind. Last night I told y'all that I made revisions to that um, Powell Gazal graphic. They have one more revision, but it's very small. Um, so I'm gonna do that really quick and then hop in the shower because I need this for the story. So I'll talk to you guys in a second. Here's where I'm at right now. I basically had to create a jersey because this is the jersey I have first. It looks cleaner. And I peeped last night that it did not match the jerseys on the rafters. However, it just looks good. But they asked me to change the jersey to match the ones behind them, so I did. I've been playing around with the hue and saturation to get this six purple to match this one. But we got this number one from Chamberlain's number one. Can y'all see? Y'all see the wrinkles? So, obviously these are very old jerseys. Their um, jerseys don't look like this anymore. I like the other version better, but we're going to have to go with this one. I'm going to pop the watermark in that corner. And send it to my creative director for approval. I think what's really throwing me off is the fact that we had to Photoshop this jersey to make it look like the ones in the back. And then the grain is just so bad. It's throwing me off. I forgot to show y'all. This is my first draft. Um, I mean, this one's more realistic, I guess, because it just goes with the vibe. But I was feeling the frame. But that's one thing I learned that just because I like it doesn't mean that the person that requested it is going to like it, which can be frustrating sometimes, but you got to charge it to the game and keep it pushing. And I tried something different and I'm going to just go with it. All right, y'all. Right now I'm about to put my clothes in the dryer because I started the washing machine before I left for the gym. So when I got back from the gym, they'll be ready to go in the dryer. And I didn't want to wash clothes because I know we're not working from home today. We're actually gonna go find somewhere to get some work done so we can get out of this apartment. I have some French toast sticks that I'm about to eat or force myself to eat.
just parked. I don't even know if I'm supposed to, if I'm allowed to park here. I don't know if y'all know, but I don't come downtown often, but I'm trying to explore the city way more since I'm all settled in my apartment. But I'm about to check the premises to make sure that I can park on the street right here. I see other cars parallel parked here and I fit my Honda right in this spot. And the place I'm going to is called Coco and the director and it's like 600 feet behind me. So I'm just gonna walk once I figure out if my parking situation is okay. And we are going to get some work done. Hey Y'all, it's a little windy out here. I just paid $3.12 for a two hour parking. Hey guys, so I'm in the car taking a lunch. Um, I'm about to go to the store because I need to get some groceries and I am leaving where I was located now before all the crazies get off of work and start driving like crackheads. I made it home, I'm about to put these groceries up. Let's talk about Little Miss Aldi. The only reason why I went to Walmart is because it's closer to Aldi and I just had a few pickups. I probably purchased like 10 items and this is like $42. Let me show y'all everything I got in a second. Hold on. Y'all see this? $42? Aldi would never. That's crazy. I got some chicken breasts. I don't know if I'm going to do chicken alfredo tonight for dinner. But I just had this. I had shrimp alfredo. Cajun shrimp alfredo on Sunday. So I'm probably going to do the chicken wings because I have buffalo wild wing sauce. Wow, these are whole drumsticks. Well, we're going to have some thick behind drumsticks and just call them chicken wings. Some potatoes. I don't like to call them french fries. French fries just sound so unhealthy, but it looks like I got the batter mix seasoned french fries. So, we'll see how that is. And then I needed some more of this. Usually I get this from Dollar Tree, the Ajax brand, but I'm noticing that I run through Ajax so fast because it's more liquid base and the suds don't be sudsing like. And then some more Tide, uh, some more Cascade pods because I hate washing dishes and I needed some more soap. So that's what we got from Walmart now. Let me put this up so I can get back in work mode it's 329 i'm so ready for five o'clock i got an hour 30 left and i'm good to go i just noticed that i didn't even eat lunch today i have some leftovers from last night i got some brown rice right here and some mixed vegetables in here so i'm about to make a small plate of this so i can eat that for lunch it's 353 i definitely lost track of time when it came to eating well, that warms up and cools down while I have a break. I'm going to put the dishes away. This is the main event for the outfit. I have worked from this brand in the past and I thought their quality was like a little cheaper. But they made some All right, I just turned in my last graphic of the day. So I'm done. And I'm about to go stretch my back because it's hurting and watch some YouTube videos. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm starving. Y'all probably hear only one just in the background because I like to watch YouTube videos, but I'm starving. I told y'all I'd be starving early in the morning. Early. Hold on, let me turn the heat off. Can somebody tell me what to eat like? How did I forget bananas yesterday? When I get back from the gym, I'm making a Roger Woods. But what can I eat right now? I need to take my vitamins. I'm almost out though. Maybe this will stop a little bit of hunger. But I really do need to eat because I'm not trying to be passing out in the gym, but. Mm -mm -mm. Today's a new day. On today's to-do list is I need to make up this bed. 
I'm gonna go to the gym and after the gym, come home, shower, clean up, you know, wash up, get my face right. Cause I didn't wash my face yet. I only brushed my teeth cause I know I'm gonna go to the gym and sweat. So I don't want my um, skincare products burning my face cause of the sweat, you know, cause y'all know I got acne prone skin. And my dermatologist got me on all this stuff. So I don't want all that burning my eyeballs. So I don't wash my face before I go to the gym. That's my personal preference. You do what you do. I do what I do. Yeah, breakfast. The plan was to go to a different spot today. But I'm trying to figure out where I want to go. Um, there's this one place I want to go to. But it's basically back downtown. And I'm not trying to drive all the way down there. So I'm trying to see what kind of coffee shops that I can find in my local area. Because I'm not feeling a drive today, especially after yesterday when I had to lay on the horn two times. One time on the way down there and one time on the way back. Like, why do y'all drive like... I'm trying to be nice. Gym fit. I got on this t-shirt from my basic training back in 2018. Because y'all know I'm in the military. And I have on some women's best leggings. They told us to wear purple for Women's History Month. It's about that time for me to get up out of here. So I'll see y'all when I get back home. I'm back from the gym, y'all. It's time to get this workout day started. Not workout day. It's time to get this work day started. I have to wash my hands and get my life together. I want to eat breakfast. I am very excited because I... Um, went grocery shopping and got some Roger Woods. And I haven't had a Roger Wood in a minute. Where's my tripod, bro? <sighs> so I'm gonna eat, get in the shower, and pick y'all back up because I want this to stay around my nine to five week in my life type stuff, not regular vlogging. If you guys are interested in that, check out my other vlogs and subscribe because I love vlogging. I just want this vlog to stay dedicated to 9 to 5 week in my life. Hey y'all, I'm at this place called the Perkentile and Creamery. They have coffee and ice cream and places to sit. With free Wi-Fi, so I'm going to walk in here and check out the area and see if I can find me a table without any people sitting too close next to me. And there's people out there staking and stuff. I was able to get some work done, but that was only because I had hotspot, thankfully, but I didn't want to use my hotspot because I like to use my hotspot on my phone when I'm at drill because the building I drill at does not have Wi-Fi and I don't have unlimited hotspot and I like to save my hotspot each month specifically for when I am at drill and I need something to do to keep me occupied if we are not doing anything. Let's just say they have Wi-Fi, they have guest Wi-Fi, that doesn't work. And they have Wi-Fi for the actual establishment. I logged on to that and it sucks. Like you guys can see when I was looking up photos of Fernando Alonso that the response time was very slow and it was just making me very annoyed and it was slowing me down. I'm trying my hardest not to go to Chick-fil-A because it's across the street but I kind of want Chick-fil-A for lunch and I'm going to eat leftover spaghetti for dinner but I need to hurry up and make a decision quick because I already have a checklist of items of what I want to do before I end the day and I want to do that before the day is over. I kind of want Chick-fil-A. I'm trying to think what's in the refrigerator or pantry that I could eat for lunch other than I could make a smoothie. But I'm not really feeling the smoothie. Like, I actually want to eat something. And if I was to go to I would get a grilled chicken nugget 